Hello and welcome to the Time and Paulina Show. Show. Snap. Hope you're doing well. If it's your first time joining us today, this podcast is about us sharing how we are learning to steward the health of our body, our mind, and our spirit. And we feel that this will best position us to be the best version of ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? I just feel a bit like gun shy now. Oh, that's okay. I have to follow my wife. The question for this episode is, how is the health of our body impacted by the health of our spirit? Ooh, so good. <laughs> As we've talked about in a previous episode, we have got this one body to have this one shot of life with Dr. Strange right there. And once, once, once my body taps out, that's it. No matter how weak or strong my mind or my spirit is, you know, that, that's it. So therefore, we want to be able to take care of that. And we're doing this because we really want to see what our potential is, like all of it. So at every stage and at every age, yes. for all the years that we have left on this planet, that's what we're going after. Yeah. Yeah. So why we choose to take care of our body in this way, the way we do for us, is actually predicated on or built on the health of our spirit. So when Time and I are talking about the health of our spirit, we're actually talking about the strength, the strength, strength. of our relationship with God. Oh, what? Yeah. Plot twist. And by strength... What we mean is, we mean the level to which we trust God enough to action and apply, not just read, the wisdom and instruction found in God's word, which is the Bible. It's, it's literally as simple yeah. and apparently as challenging as that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to read a verse from the Bible, and it's from Matthew 7, uh, verse 24 to... 27. It's titled The Wise and Foolish Builders. I don't want to say the word in Dutch because everyone in English is uh, listening. Oh, yeah. Hearing that word is maybe going to be a little surprise. I'm going to bleep it out. I'll say builders in, in, in Dutch. The Wise and Foolish Balfour. <laughs> Verse 24. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Not that rock, but rock. It's a parable. Verse 25, the rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house. So we're talking about the challenges of life. Yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. Our question for the day for you is coming up later, but it's to do with this foundation. And I guess, I guess for some of you, maybe a lot of you, it it might be starting to sound like something out of Ghostbusters. Yeah, I was maybe. talking about God, <laughs> or is it Star Wars? We don't know what you know your relationship with church and God is uh, has been, and so we're just sharing, like just for us. Yeah. Um, yeah. To be honest, it's been a uh, for me not a little scary, but just you know we'll talk about this in another episode, but. For about the whole time we were living in the Netherlands, I actually didn't share that, you know, I was going to church, that I was a Christian with everybody. Maybe only a couple of people. Yeah. But we'll talk about why uh, in another episode. Hmm. Hang around. So this part of us, our spirit, our relationship with God is the most important part of us. Yeah. It is definitely a foundation that the strength of our body 
and our mind can can truly flourish from. So without this strong spirit, then for us everything crumbles like yeah. the foolish man who built his house on the sand. And as we've just heard, you know, like we can pray and we can read the Bible, but for us, if we don't action and apply it. Yeah. So when the challenges of life do come, which they will, then we've got nothing to stand firm on. Yeah. So Sorry. for us, if we were to share like a secret life hack, this is it. It's as simple it. and apparently as complicated as reading the word, trusting God enough that when we do choose to follow his way and apply it, mm. Things will happen, as I would always say. Well, it may seem a little crazy, but time will tell. Yes. Yeah. That trusting, I think, is such an important part of it because when we trust God, like initially at its at its beginning point, you know, when we trust anybody in our lives, we have to give them that first bit of trust. Like, mm. I'm going to trust that person and it is when they um, prove themselves to be trustworthy that that trust is established and we and it's the same with God it's like when we know his character um, and his will for our lives that his purpose for us is good and all of that stuff which comes through the reading of of his word of the bible yeah that um yeah that, that actioning, it becomes like, well, yeah, of course, of course, I'm going to do whatever it takes, which has been our story. So in 2016, um, at the end of the year, um, it was just my darling and our little firstborn son, Isaiah, at that time, he was just mm. a little baby. And I was reading in Hebrews 12. And this scripture just kind of, yeah, or like jumped out at me or like it was all of a sudden like I just was like okay you know I had this Holy Spirit conviction um, in that moment and if you don't know Holy Spirit is simply God is three in one it's God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit and when we receive God um, as our Lord and Savior we also have the Holy Spirit in our lives who enables us and um, yeah and helps us and empowers us, right? So um, so I had this moment where I was reading the scripture. I'm going to read it to you. So Hebrews 12, verse 1 to 2, it says, Let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. And when I read that, I was like, everything that hinders, I was like, what mm. would it be like to live a life so surrendered and willing to do things like God's way that nothing hindered us anymore? And I just had this moment where I realized like, you know, our body can really stand in our way and in the way yeah. of the purpose for our lives, mm. you know, a tired body a weak body, a sick body, all those things can cut short or hinder, like be this like ball and chain to the rest of our lives. And not only that, but it has such an impact on our mind and our spirit. So I set out at that point to pursue it with everything I had. I was like, okay, awesome. Like I was already at that point, very passionate about the human body, how it worked how food choices and exercise and all of that impacted the well-being of our body. So I was like, yes, <laughs> I'm all over this. So, yeah, I set out on, on this um, path of pursuing the well-being for our family. Oh, yeah. With the purpose of us fulfilling everything, everything that God put us here on this earth for. And, you know, what I realized along the way it was like all these things that I was doing were so good, but I realized that when I wasn't also taking care of my spirit and that when that was um, maybe neglected or not doing so great, like the spirit part of myself, that actually 
affected my ability to take care of my body, like to its full potential and the same to my mind to its full potential. And so that was really like cool for me, like this moment of like, okay, the health of our spirit actually supports, it elevates, it spurs on the health of our bodies. Um, so body and spirit are connected. And if we take God at his word, and he says in his Bible that his word is living and active, so it, it changes us when we read it. Um, it has the power to transform our mind, and from it we receive wisdom to apply to our lives, including how to take care of our bodies. In Proverbs 3, it says, My child, never forget the things I have taught you. Store my commands in your heart. If you do this, you will live many years and your life will be satisfying. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do. And to me that said, in all you do, okay. So in the way I take care yeah. of my children, of myself, my husband, in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord, which simply means to put him in his rightful place, which for us is as Lord of our lives, and to turn away from evil. And then, and then you will have healing for your body and strength for your bones. Yeah, I know. It's awesome, right? Snap. I know. Yeah. And very next proverb as well. It says, remember my words, God says, for they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. Yeah, this might be like, okay, so how does that work? It's because when we know the word, we know God. And when we trust him and his character, we, will, we just make better choices. We are more willing to well, more willing, I would say we are more enabled to exercise one of the fruits of the spirit, actually, which is self-control, mm. right? So, yeah, it's this um, spending time in his word and what that produces in our lives and um, time spent with him, which is just really, I think, just crucial and so important in us seeing all these areas of our body um, restored, right? and healthy oh snap my wife be preaching um i think it would be cool to read galatians 5 uh 22 to 23 sorry and not sorry uh we're sharing what's you know the foundation of everything that we're doing yeah. and so you know if we would if you would ask us can you give us the best advice if we had one thing to share with you i think this would be it yeah a relationship with God yeah, and totally. honoring that by reading, spending time with Him, yeah. um, but then putting faith into action. Yeah, it's everything. Which is that. So yeah. uh, Galatians five twenty two to 23 says, The Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives or the evidence of the Spirit is love, joy, Peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And I think for me, some of those, if I look at, I don't know, let's say, if anyone's played Mario Kart, you go through and you go to select your cars and some of them have speed, it's like four out of five. Um, acceleration is one out of five. I think self-control for me, I it was. I don't think I had anything there. It was zero out of ten. <laughs> mm. Maybe joy was a seven, or was it even joy? Fake joy. These are all accessible, but they also need to be actioned. So, us in trying to look after our bodies, we do have self-control at our disposal to be able to combat, yeah. you know, the things that we maybe do want to do that are not beneficial for us. Yeah, it's, I think it's really ultimately like what are we willing to to be disciplined in 
in order to to be the best version of ourselves, knowing that the best version of us mm. is the best thing for everybody around us, right? For our families, yeah. for our friends, for our community. So that's really what it stems from. And for us, like our relationship with God has changed our lives. And it's taken time, you know, we oh, snap. we will be sharing about this, like about our own testimony and our story really about how, yeah. How yeah, the, is, literally in the very next episode, yeah, we're going to talk about how I actually, how I finally reached out to him. Yeah. It's an interesting story, I think. Yeah. So yeah. definitely uh, watch that one. Yeah, because as I mentioned from from day one till now, there's been a lot of growth and a lot of learning. But the reason why I think I didn't see a lot of rapid change in my life is because, to be honest, I didn't really take care of the spirit part of me. You know, it was like this book, you know, like mm. not that I, yeah, I guess I, I, I absolutely underestimated yeah. the word. And it wasn't until I started implementing what the word was saying into my life, into my actions and just trusting God mm -hmm. with these things. And then when I met you, it started learning more about that my body was part of that equation mm. to also helping to restore my mind and my upbringing and uh, past challenges, let's call them. Yeah. You know, that's when things started to happen, funnily enough, you know, yeah. just trusting God and actioning that out, faith in action. Yes. We're not yeah. sitting here thinking we've arrived. That's no. why we said we are continuously working on the stewardship of our mind, body, and spirit. Yes. Maybe it makes no sense. It's probably more ghostbuster for some of you, but I think if you're listening to this and something is resonating in you while you're hearing this, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the worst thing that can happen is that maybe your life changes if you read the word. Yeah. And if you had a bookmark from my daughter, I'd give you this as well. <laughs> and so the question we want to leave with you listening or watching is... How is your spirit doing? And with that, it's a wrap for today. We'll see you next time. On the next one. On the next one. If you're smart. Huh? <laughs> what the rock is cooking. <laughs>